How are you doing? Brilliantly and terribly. You know, when you listen to a profound piece of music, one that sort of spans the whole emotional experience, it's not happy. Happy is elevator music, and probably you just shouldn't listen to that at all. Right? And, and you think, why? Well, it, it, it's harmless, it's treacly, it's sweet, uh, it's simple, it lacks depth, it's shallow, that's a problem. It doesn't have that deep sense of awe and horror, I would say, that is characteristic of the best of all music. There's nothing simple in the song and, and in the voice. It's deep, you know, it's like the blues. There's this admission of a deep suffering at the same time as you get the beautiful transcendence of the music. And that's meaning, you know, that's awful in the most fundamental sense, but you need an antidote to suffering and it has to be deep. And you know, deep moves you tectonically and it's not a trivial thing. And, but that's better than happiness. And maybe if you're lucky while you're pursuing that and while you're immersed in it, you get to be happy and, and you should fall on your knees and be grateful for that when it happens. You know, it's a gift. It really is a gift. And it comes upon you unexpectedly, your happiness, you know. But you aim to climb uphill to the highest peak you can possibly envision. And that's, that's better than happiness. Why did you include terribly? Well, for example, now when I go, wherever I go in the world, people come up to me and they're usually, they, I wouldn't say they're happy to see me. They're often in tears, you know, and they often have a pretty rough story to relate. You know, they were suicidal or nihilistic or homicidal or trapped, desperate, you know, and they tell me that real fast. And then they say, I've overcome that to a large degree and thank you for that. And, and you think, well, that's really something to have that happen over and over. In some ways, you might think, well, how could anything better possibly happen to you than to have people come up to you all over the world, strangers, and open themselves up like that, like their old friends, so quickly. But at the same time, it's an awful thing because you see, even in the revelation of their triumph, the initial depth of their despair, So I wouldn't change that, but it's not nothing. And it's certainly not just happiness. It's better than happiness, but it's almost unbearable. Why do you do what you do? To see what will happen. Some programs you, you cannot predict, right? You cannot predict how they're going to end. You have to run them. Well. You know, I believe that truth will save the world. I believe that. So you speak truthfully and you watch what happens and you take your consequences, you know, and maybe you hope and have some faith that in the final analysis, things will work out in your favor, but perhaps they will and perhaps they won't. But that's faith, eh? That's faith. It's faith isn't believing in things you regard as ridiculous sacrificing your intellect it's a decision you know will truth beauty and love save the world well you can find out <laughs>